so guys the next thing we will we will we'll be talking about is uh, let's go to the inventory go to the virtual infrastructure and then go to the restore restore from the backup and the third option is a guest file restore so the first we have learned is an entire virtual machine restore then a volume restore and the third is guest file and the files are from windows platform and the backup i have taken is that particular machine and the backup has been taken up like two days back and so on so go next give a restore reason like uh, anything you can write you can type anything okay done that should be relevant in case you know later on you can find out what exactly restore has been took place so particular name for that so when i click finish i have to wait for few seconds and here it is now this new windows has been opened And this new console will help me to restore files whatever files I wanted to restore that operating system does not have any manual created files okay it's a default installation done by me so I will show you how you can restore it to the same location or into your physical server okay so the windows 10 and this is c drive to it and these are the users and this is a user my user this is a my document in case you want to restore all that entire documents you can go right click restore that's right yeah documents right click restore there's an option called overwrite and another one is a keep so overwrite mean if there are files with same name or some of the old files left it will overwrite them and this will keep the old file and give a new copy to you so you can select anyone as per your location and then you need authentication username and password for that machine and then another way is by using right click and just copy to and if you want to copy to on this particular server like uh, desktop and give a name like uh, backup copy and go ok and if you click ok this has been success now you can go and go to the backup copy on your desktop and you can see the document just continue and there's nothing inside it because I have no backup or something you know nothing is over there in this file all right so this is how you can backup on the same physical machine thank you